And if you have Vista, you need to know this man, Brad Wardell. Brad, why? What do you? What is your company? What do you do? We are Stardot Corporation, and we're a company that designs software that allows you to control your Windows Vista experience. You can skin anything you want in Windows Vista or Windows XP. Correct. From the moment you uh, boot up your machine, to, you know the boot screen, log on screen, to the actual user interface, the icons, everything you might want to do, you can change with it. So anything they fucked up at, at Microsoft in terms of design, we can fix with your product? Well, we look at it as we enhance and extend what Microsoft... Enhance and extend. Oh, I love that. That, that, that is great. Okay, what's the name of the product? Uh, Object Desktop. Okay. But how much uh, does it uh, cost? It's $49.95, but a lot of the pieces of it are available for fr as freeware from us. And you can try it out for 30 days? I can tr some of it you can try out permanently, but uh, yeah, for, mo for the most part, it's 30, 60 days. So, so Brad, dazzle me. What can I do here? All right, window blinds let you change the way your actual Windows user interface looks. That's title bar. Uh, but that looks like an that looks like an Apple. Can I make it? Can I make Vista look like Apple? You could. You can make Windows look a lot like a Mac OS t X Tiger. Or Flip through a couple of examples. Okay, so there's one. Uh, here's Mac Classic someone made. That'll come up here. Oh, so people can make their own uh, skin, and then uh, basically you can uh, you can exchange them. Yep, they they then trade them around with other people. Okay. Here's another one. This is uh, one just called Stardock right now. This is one we made. It just has a pretty uh, standard UI there. Okay. Now, in case while I'm here wondering, to start, I have on my machine to start menu using arrow. So I have that locked to always using arrow no matter what skin I use. Okay. But window blinds can also change these parts too, but I have that turned off right now. Okay, so this is window blinds. Make a skin XP or Vista any way you want and basically have also a lot of popular design on the internet. Pretty cool. For 50 bucks I can basically change everything. Once I've changed it, can I then create files so I can give my skins to other people? Yep, you can actually use this thing called Theme Manager where you actually make a snapshot of your desktop and can email it to someone else and if as long as, long as they have the you know the product installed they can instantly have your desktop. So everybody who basically then uses my skin needs to have your product? Correct. Okay. Except for the freeware, uh, freeware uh, stuff. Parts in it have been freeware like boot skin, log on studio, um, some of our icon stuff has been free. So people just trade that stuff back and forth on websites like wincustomize.com or on neowin.net where people can just get together and share their stuff. So here we have a complete different kind of uh, Vista login screen. What is this? This is uh, the work of Logon Studio. And uh, for Windows Vista, it allows you to change the way your logon screen looks. Okay, great. I can just put every picture. It should be in Vista, but isn't. But with your product, I can do it. Right, you can do that. And we down the line, we plan to make it so you can move all these things anywhere you want. You won't, don't want this in the middle, put it top right. Okay, great. And this is uh, freeware? This is freeware. So these are the third tools. What is this called? This is Icon Packager. What it lets you do is take a package of icons and change every icon on your computer. So we're currently in the process of making a Windows Vista version of this because Windows Vista has a lot of new icons. And of course it has these live folders where they actually show you what's inside your folder and that's what we're working on right now. Okay. So, Brett, you basically allow people to skin um, Vista and XP. Uh, does that mean you're critical about the design skills of Microsoft? Oh, not at all. I mean, what our goal is is to let people personalize their computer to be however they want it to be, right? Just like cars, everyone, most people might like a black Porsche. But I don't see that everybody creates their own Porsche. Now, but what do you think? Uh, how did you uh, like the difference between XP from a professional point of view to Vista? How do you think they, they did as a job? Oh, they did a great job. Vista is a lot more... Um, a lot more consistent than Windows XP was. It has new icons, which I know a lot of people don't think is a big deal, but it was kind of cheesy seeing Windows 95 icons or Windows 3.1 icons still in the corners. And it, it just looks a lot nicer and cleaner. Okay. And even though it's a lot better, everybody needs your Object Studio product uh, no matter what uh, because... Well, Object Desktop lets you make Windows however you want it to be. So even though, like for example, right now I, ro I mostly run Arrow, but in a few months, I'm going to start wanting to, you know, tweak it. I'm going to want it to look a little different, kind of give it, kind of change it to suit my tastes. Okay. Mr. Personalized Vista. Good luck with it. Thank you. All right, thank you.